Welcome back. In golf course maintenance can make a course absolutely beautiful, but when it comes to putting greens, aeration almost looks like destruction. 18 News spoke with Mark Twain course about this unique maintenance process. Okay, Brian, it's the time of year where people are come to the golf course and they find out the golf course has been aerified or mm -hmm. the greens have been plugged. Mm -hmm. But there's an important reason why you do that. Tell me why. There is. Um, so the biggest. The biggest, most important reason is to allow oxygen to the roots. Um, we're all trying to grow healthy roots, um, which allows for a healthy plant. So putting holes into the greens allows oxygen to get down into the roots, which allows the roots to grow better, um, which going into winter and then in turn into spring allows for healthy root growth. Another benefit is to relieve compaction. Um, with all the traffic that gets put on greens, you know, by golfers walking on them mm -hmm. or the mowers being put on them constantly every single day throughout the season. Um, you know, so there, there are quite a lot of benefits. I know that it is disruptive to play. Oh, yeah, and the greens are gone for two or three weeks. They, they, they sure are. Um, but the benefits are, are very significant, especially going into winter and then in turn coming in, into spring. Um, it allows for that plant to, uh, to, to, to be healthy going into the springtime, allows for healthy roots, allows for the compaction to be relieved in the greens and to pull organic matter out if that is an issue with your particular greens at a particular golf course. Okay, so. well thanks Brian. You're welcome Rich. And coming up next week on Golf in the Twin Tiers, we discuss what to do if your balls end up in the footprint of a bunker. Now, to watch this and past episodes of Golf in the Twin Tier, just head on over to mytwintiers.com into our sports section.